welcome in my youtube channel guys today i'm going to answer the request of sir parvis korani and his request is i'm going to make a video about this about anywhere id 974 and the setting is from cheater to freezer I'm going to make a separate video for this and what are the parameters to set that is the question of Sir Parvis and I decided to start with the chiller okay and I'm going to use our uh, HACCP standard temperature that is between 1 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius okay to program this one guys I set this to the default mode or setting and I, w I would like to start with the chiller setting which is positive 1 to positive 5 degrees Celsius now I'm going to start with the set point and the set point for chiller is 1 degrees Celsius okay 1 degree Celsius and we have a differential and what is this differential means the differential upon reaching the set point one the compressor will stop pumping and once I'm going to put a value of four degrees Celsius here the compressor will stop at 1 degree Celsius and the compressor will start if I'm going to add this one 1 plus 4 the compressor will start at positive 5 degrees Celsius how is that happen 5 minus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is the differential the cut in cut off of the compressor once reach the 1 degree celsius and reach the 5 degrees celsius so i hope this one enlighten sir pervis so under the defrost okay Actu actually this is set point and this differential here is under cp this is under CP folder and um, let's proceed to I'm not going to make elaboration about the CP folder but if you wish to change the H S E which is the highest set point and I'm going to set the highest set point to 5 degrees Celsius and we also have the LSE and LSE stand for lowest set point and my lowest set point is 1 degree Celsius okay these two here is in this it's up to you if you want to put a value of this okay and next these are all under CP folder and what next here is the defrost folder okay. or the DEF under the defrost guys okay under the defrost we have DTY and the DTY we have 
a four selection but I'm going to tell you what is the DTI I means the DTI is the type of the frost this is the type of the frost and we have a three selection here we have zero and zero stand for electrical Defrost, defrosting and one stand for inversion inversion defrosting and two stand for free mode defrost or independent in the and then defrosting so if you have electrical heater use this if your unit use solenoid valve use this this one we never use this one okay so next after the, the DTY we have the DIT and what is DIT the DIT is the interval between the start of two subsequent defrosting so we have an interval here the interval guys is we have one two zero to two fifty rains this one have a zero to two fifty hours rains but we're going to use this or we're going to put a value only of six hours meaning in 24 hours in 24 hours if we put a value of six here we have six twelve twelve times two is twenty four therefore in 24 hours the unit will defrost every six hours and we got a four defrost happen in 24 hours if you put eight here which is the default we only got three defrosting in 24 hours because eight 16 24 so if this is a busy restaurant you put six if not a busy restaurant or establishment or whatever the unit is intended to be using use either three or four but for chiller setting it's ideal to use for six hours and next guys is take note this is the interval Okay. interval defrosting and what next here guys is the DET or DET and the DET is the length of defrost we have the interval every 6 hours the unit will defrost and we gonna end that defrost by either 30 minutes or 20 minutes defrosting we're going to end that okay so ideally for every six hours defrosting if you want to use 30 no problem 20 minutes no problem so we're going to cut the long duration of this defrost okay and once the pb1 and pb2 is being installed we have also the dst and what is this dst the dst is the end of the frost end of the frost while the det is the length or the duration 
okay duration so in six hours the unit will defrost within 30 minutes and we're going to cut that because it's very long the purpose of the pb2 sensor okay this is my pb1 and this is my pb2 this is the evaporate this is the evaporator and this is the room sensor the once the evaporator sensors sensor sense that if I'm going to put a value of 8 degrees Celsius here once this evaporator sensor sense that the temperature in the evaporator is already 8 degrees Celsius and it will cut the defrost okay the defrosting happen every six hours it will cut once the this probe sense that the evaporator is now in 8 degrees Celsius and it doesn't continue the counting of either 20 minutes or 30 minutes you you, you program in the DET parameter so I hope that is clear so there is a function for the verb operator sensor and the function and the function of the room sensor is to read or to on and off the operation of the compressor and this is the differential okay this is the purpose of the room sensor okay I got an alarm and what that alarm okay after that let's proceed to the these are all for the defrosting folder and let's proceed for the fan folder and the fan folder we have the FST uh, fan stop temperature if reach the I'm going to put 15 degrees Celsius here if you want 25 no problem just put higher than that is good this is fun stop temperature and ideally just set that to 15 once the room cabinet reach 15 degrees Celsius the fan automatically stop and the FAD is the differential okay the compressor compressor it has a differential also so the the fan folder or the fan it has also a differential so we're going to put a two degrees Celsius here which is the I'm going to put meaning if the fan stop at reaching the 15 degrees Celsius once the compressor start pumping again and it reach it reach 13 degrees Celsius the differential is finished because this is 2 15 minus 2 is 13 therefore therefore at 13 degrees Celsius at 13 degrees Celsius the differential is going to activate and the fan motor will will run again okay will start again so this is the whole purpose of differential and next we have the F C O and what is this F C O? Okay. F C O means it allows the fan lock to be selected or not when the compressor is off. Lock if the compressor is off upon reaching the one degree Celsius. If you put the value of y it means 
the fan fan will on if you put no the fan will turn off if you put DC there, these are the selection guys under FCO this is duty cycle cycle okay this is the duty Sci there This is duty cycle and what is the duty cycle this is always on the fan is always on even during the frosting even during the frosting this fan motor will always on if you want to turn this off just press or just choose N but the default of this one is Y and I prefer to use this Y here instead of N <coughs> Y because during the frost we can select the the fan motor will rest during the frost and we have a selection for that also but I'm not going to tackle it it's a very long way so with we all done for the fan folder and we're gonna put an alarm for that I'm going to put another before we go in programming I'm going to discuss first and let's proceed to the AL folder and this AL fol folder is all about an alarm uh, we have HAL and we have ELAL and this HAL it has a range of it has a default of 50 degrees celsius while this lull have a default of negative 50 degrees celsius and how to set this alarm okay this is alarm this is for the highest alarm and this is the lowest alarm HAL is the maximum temperature alarm and the LAL is the minimum temperature alarm so how to set this for chiller which is 1 degrees to 5 degrees celsius okay I'm going to make a value for the HAL and the value I'm going to put encode in the place of the 50 is take a look this is the max my max here is 5 I'm going to put 5 plus 5 is 10 degrees Celsius why I put 10 degrees Celsius here because under my DET or the under my DST which is the end of the frost I put an 8 degrees Celsius here so if I'm going to add just for 3 if I put 3 so 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 is 8 so it will trigger and it will cause an alarm and this alarm is AL if I'm not mistaken and for the 
lull which is the minimum temperature alarm I'm going to put a value of here 1 degree Celsius plus 5 is negative 6 so I'm going to put a value of negative 6 here okay just add 5 degrees Celsius so this will be my lull and this will be my hull so I hope everything is okay now but I'm going to make a brief discussion on about display okay under the display we also have I'm only going to discuss one parameter here and that is the Chi1 and this Chi1 is the calibration okay under the calibration if you want to learn something about this maybe I'm going to make another tutorial about this but this is calibration for example the the default is zero if you want to go higher one two three four five onward and if you want to go downward is this negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five downward for example you want to add the this is the calibration between the cabinet temperature and this display temperature for example here is 30 degrees Celsius and once the room cabinet is 35 degrees Celsius we have a difference of 5 degrees Celsius okay we have one we have a difference if we want to make a tally on it for example you want this 30 to become 35 so you're gonna put the value here so you go here you change here okay if you want to add this is an example guys this is the cabinet this is your unit okay this is your unit so if you want to make the and once you want to become and once you want to tally the display temperature this is the t display temperature with the inside cabinet temperature you want the 35 to become 30 degrees Celsius just go to this and you got a tally okay if you want to add temperature to the display you want the 30 to become 35 go change 0 to 5 degrees Celsius if you want the 30 degrees Celsius to become 35 go downward and change 0 to negative 5 so it's very very long tutorial now and let's proceed to the programming okay programming to set the set point press this set button here and release positive one there is it and press set and it's done for the display or it's done for the CP folder and let's proceed to the defrost folder press escape and let's locate for the defrost press set and DTY we're going to change the default 0 to 1 press set and it's done and let's proceed to DIT press set and we're going to change 8 to 6 because this is ideally for chiller setting press set to memorize and let's proceed to DET 
and press set and we're going to change 20 to 30 so it's up to if you want 20 no problem here Let's change that to 30 don't worry this long duration will be cut by the DST and next DST set okay we're going to add this one we're going to change this to 8 degrees celsius then press set and it's it's all done for the defrost skip and let's proceed to fun there fun press set and fst set we're going to change that to positive 15 because this is a chiller 1 to 5 degrees celsius another 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 okay then press set to memorize there the fan motor start and then let's proceed to FADA press set okay to no problem and that is the differential then let's proceed to FCO okay this is the drip time if you want to put a value of 2 after the frost it will drip for two minutes but let's just regards that and let's proceed here press set okay it's already set to y so this is good i already discussed this to you guys then skip and let's check and let's proceed to all folder all uh, is stand for alarm folder press set and let's proceed to hull okay this is the maximum temperature alarm press set and we're going to change 50 to 10 degrees celsius so uh, the explanation has already been discussed so it's up to you if you going to This regards my explanation here but once you're going to ask me something I'm not going to reply because I already discussed to you the detail you need to learn you need to okay then press set and let's proceed to lull the minimum set the minimum temperature alarm I'm going to press the set and negative 50 we're going to change negative 50 to negative 6 and we have an alarm okay and after this I'm going to explain to you briefly the calibration under display folder and it must be negative 6 there is it then press set and we're going to skip here and let's locate for display then press set and this if you want to lock or unlock and DT okay here press set here and we have the default here is 0 Here is the default. If you want to, let me check. If you want to add the room temperature, just go to positive. Okay, here going to positive. If you want to to if you want to add the room temperature, just go here. If you want to add the temperature of the display. If you want to cheat with your customer, go to the negative. That is the brief. Okay. If you want to cheat, for example, this is one to be one to five degrees Celsius, and your unit is still in ten degrees Celsius, and you want to put that into five. Just add five here, negative five, and your temperature become 
for example your currently temperature is 10 degrees celsius and you want to cheat your customer you want the 10 to become 5 just go to negative 5 and it will become 5 for the display degrees celsius okay that's all for now if you're new to my channel please support me guys by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be updated just in case we have a new upload video thanks for watching god bless